Folks, let's figure out how to save Trat. Not very talkative guy, is he? Kinda busy being an emo git. I don't really care anymore. Ha! Gee, I wonder. Well, folks, you know what? You've all seen this, so I'm just going to pause right now. Leave just a little bit of silence so that it doesn't, you know, sound weird. And when I unpause, I am going to meet, be back in Bilibin. Ah, uh, see ya, folks. Till then. Hello, back. I'm going to stop by the weapon store and see if selling off all the stuff that I've accumulated will be able to buy me better weapons. I'll keep that. Don't really need it. Don't really need it. Now that I have effective healing, I don't really need much of any healing items at all. Oh yeah, by the way, you can't sell the Shaman's Rod. Oh look! I can afford broadswords! Let's see if there's any good sword artifacts. Nope, just the bandit sword. And Isaac has the game. Blah, the game ticket. Let's keep a close eye on my time this time. Well, alright, I might actually be able to afford some decent armor as well. See if there's any... Nope, no artifacts yet. I think there's a secret, uh, secret artifact somewhere. Nope. Nothing else I need to buy. So, I'll just, uh... Buy a few more, uh... Blah. The feather things. You know what I mean. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't really do the gambling that takes the game tickets because it's not really very useful and you usually come out on the bottom. There is other gambling that you can do. Like, for example, the stuff that uses the lucky coins. And now that I'm a bit more set on money, set money-wise, I'm going to be much less likely to sell those things. And may, eventually I may even buy some of them back some of the ones that I sold back via the artifacts menu in the item shop. Aye. And then there's one that just plain uses money and dice. Which is one that I'll be doing a lot because it's actually a fairly fun little mini game. All right, folks, I'm going to cut off again, and I will meet you where we left off in Mercury Lighthouse last time. See you in a bit, folks. I don't think I showed you the contents of this treasure chest on camera. Because I think I might have died during that recording and then had to redo everything and decided to just skip this. So, yeah. I got a vial. I'll probably end up selling it. Healing items aren't all that useful in this game. And no point in off-screening the short way back to, uh... 
Whoops, accidentally ran. Uh, oh well, it's not like it can really harm me anymore. And yeah, you know what, I'll just uh, quickly head over to... Ah, oh, God. Two of them. Quickly head over to uh, email... Emil, however the fuck you pronounce that place's name. Emil, <laughs> yeah, the, the ice town, and then uh, from there I'll just basically do everything else on camera. Don't think I can sell stuff right now because all the shops are closed. Trust me when I say this dungeon is... Oh, it's got one of my favorite bosses in the entire series, too. I absolutely love Mercury Lighthouse. It's one of my favorite parts of the game. This bit is amazing. I mean, I uh, can't do anything with that yet. You get Mia, who is my favorite party member in the entire series thus far. You've got some axe. This is the first real puzzle-oriented dungeon in the game, too. And the puzzles are excellent. The music is awesomely badass. Yeah. Then again, pe this, people who know me know that I have a thing for characters with water magic power type things. This game is where it came from. Because the two water magic users in this series are totally awesome. Oi, we haven't met the other one yet. We won't until the next game. Period. Yeah, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to turn off the water now. And be able to get treasures. Oop, nope. And progress with the game just sort of in general. Ooh, a Psy Crystal. Those are actually really useful. I'm probably not going to sell that one. <laughs> uh, didn't really have to go back that way. Ha ha ha. Oh my god, I suck at this game sometimes. Whoop, 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 whoop. Eh, my throat is sore. I've been talking for a while thanks to these videos. I harm my voice for you people. Not going that way. Oh! Oh god! Bears! The greatest threat to national security. Bears. I think that's a cold bear report reference. I don't really remember anymore. I'm tired. Shut up. Okay, we're at the 500 second mark. Can't for the life of me remember how... Hold it, do I want to go down? I want to go down. No, I don't want to go down. Fuck. Ha! I'm not good at this game! Uh, I don't know this game quite as by heart as I know Link's Awakening. And believe me when I say, I know Link's Awakening almost entirely. By I played through that game many, many times. Although, granted, I know the beginning much, much, much better than I know the later bits. Like how I was wandering around lost trying to figure out where uh, the desert was. I knew where it was, I just couldn't remember if I knew if what I knew was actually right. Da da da! Ooh, yay, and unleash. That means we'll probably kill it this turn. Uh, eventually, Garrett and Isaac will get upgraded to uh, named weapons once we get named swords that are, and axes that are actually, you know not that are actually better than the 
blah, non-named ones. I'm the, I'm stumbling over my words this morning, folks. I'm sorry. Uh, right now, my sleep schedule has been kind of messed up for, like, ever. So, yeah, it's 5 in the morning now, and I woke up at 10 last night. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, hello. I know where we are now. We boom.